And good evening, everyone. A vigil in Niagara Square tonight honors the memory of a Williamsville North teen who took his own life after bullies targeted him online for his sexual orientation. News 4's Al Vauders has more now on the poignant message left behind by Jamie Rotemeyer. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Close to 30 people, gay, straight, and transgendered, gathered for the vigil. Dedicated to the struggle of 14 year old Jamie Rotemeyer, the Williamsville teenager who withstood tormenting by bullies until taking his own life this past weekend. They taught me in the hallways. And I felt like I could never escape it. Jamie's yeah, heartbreaking video and subsequent suicide seem to have struck a chord. And those paying tribute to the teenager say the old rules about name calling just don't seem to work anymore. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words destroy my soul. Words hurt. Words kill. I've been bullied all my life, been there, and I've defended myself many times. But now it's time for you people out there to stand up with us. The kids who are bullying, that they have to realize that words are very powerful and what you think is just fun and games isn't to some people. And the message seems to be resonating. Lana McCary is the newly crowned Miss Buffalo of the Miss America organization, and she answered the call to stand up and be counted. I'm almost 22. I think I could handle it, but I don't know if I was 14 years old if I could handle the stuff that kids do today. Many of the speakers at tonight's vigil call on educators to do a better job of teaching kids how hurtful bullying can be, and for parents of bullies to help them understand the consequences of their actions, in this case, tragic consequences that could haunt them for the rest of their lives. Al Waters, news, Al Waters for the 10 o'clock news.